Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about pure virtual function in C++ programming. The syntax of the pure virtual function is, first we create one virtual function with the virtual keyword and then we have to append that equal 0 at the end to create the pure virtual function. Like in example, here we have one class shape and inside the class we have one pure virtual function. Now we create one pure virtual function in the program when the function does not have any use in the parent class but we want that function to be implemented by all of its child class. So the child class square is implementing the pure virtual function of the parent class and also the child class circle is also implementing the pure virtual function of the parent class. So in this example program we have one parent class shape and the parent class is having one pure virtual function called get shape. So we have written virtual void get shape and we have appended the equal zero at the end to create the pure virtual function. Now all the child class should implement the get shape function. So the child class square is implementing the get shape function and it will print the string square shape and also the child class circle is implementing the get shape function and it will print the string circle shape. Now inside the main method we are gonna create the object of the square class S and object of the circle class C. So now we are gonna use the object S and we are gonna call the get shape function and also we are gonna use the object C and we are gonna call the get shape function so the s dot get shape function call will invoke the square class get shape function and the c dot get shape function call will invoke the circle class get shape function so we should see the output square shape and circle shape onto the console so i'm gonna save and i'm gonna run the program and you can see square shape and the circle shape output has been printed onto the console so this is the way we can create one pure virtual function in the parent class and then the function should be implemented by all of its child classes. So hope you understand about the pure virtual function in C++ programming. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.